Okay, so, hello and welcome. We're going to be starting a new game tonight. And after me uh, wandering around what I was going to do and possibly thinking of doing Shadow Warrior, but I think I'm going to have to have a look at it a bit more because mm, there's a Redux version of it, but I don't have that, so... And it's not on sale. Not that, like, it's that expensive, but... <laughs> Cheapskate. So, uh, we are going to be playing... Thief Gold. How is that on? that too loud? Ah, uh, yes. Thief Gold. Uh, you know, I can't actually remember if I've played through this before. <laughs> I might have. I have played Thief 2. Uh, and I've played parts of Deadly Shadows. I've also played a bit of the Dark mod, which is an unofficial mod for, um... What's it for? Is it for Doom 3? It might be for Doom 3. Um... But yes, Thief Gold, for those who don't know, is a game where you play as Garrett the Master Thief, and you go around stealing things, keeping out of sight of everyone else, and, uh, trying to pay the rent. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. So we're going to be starting a new game. I'm going to play an expert because, well, difficulty in Thief is different from no other from other games. Uh, you do take more damage on expert. Uh, and it's possibly some things like more guards. However, I feel that expert is the best way to play it because it gives you more goals to accomplish like you need to collect more loot which just means you need to explore more often and uh you know be more thorough it also gives you the other tasks of not killing people which you're not going to be doing anyway if you're a if you're a good thief so we're going to be doing that um we'll start with the training though just for completion's sake and we'll watch the cutscene I was a kid, no parents, no home, running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man, folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. So there we go. That's the uh, backstory of Garrett. Uh, so let's see. I mean, <laughs> expert difficulty on the tutorial. Oh boy. Uh, essentially, um, you'll get more objectives to complete, but we're not there yet, so. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. Okay. I did run this a bit to change up the uh, controls a bit, because they're kind of weird. I still have to see how it, be how it goes, because I have run as W, and there's not like a toggle walk. There's a uh, sort of a move slowly, then you crouch and... 
that, so that should be fine. Leaning. We also have lean forward, which will be useful for ledges. And down the bottom left, those shields with the plus symbol on them are our health. And the light gem in the middle of the screen is how we can tell how uh, visible we are. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Okay. Sneaky. I think we just have to be not be seen, not be heard. So, don't have to be very cautious on these stones, because they make noise when we step on them. Well done. I did not see you approach. Yeah, I don't know how. To continue. <laughs> when the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Yep. And we just use with the mouse Good. button too. Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Mysterious. I think I might have played some other games which were based on the same engine as Thief. I can't remember what they were though. Fast. Textures there. <laughs> Why'd I say how nice this is to actually now be able to play this? This to game is a pain quietly. to get Some running normally. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. And so. So if we move slowly. On this carpet. It's a lot more quiet. However. I. It's that stone or it's that metal? Find out in a short bit. Okay, that's metal. So that's very loud. To like inch your way along it. To be able to not make any noise. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Well, I'm glad you didn't hear that Beyond single door step. Is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Okay. Let's continue. So yeah, there was the thief games are a lot of fun because it's like a nice challenge. You have to try and avoid people, not kill them. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Yep. Just pick up a sword. Choose and your weapon now. Bow and arrow. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Which we can now do with uh, title. The courtyard for some target practice. Or tilde. So. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by Wham. holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. Kay. See if you can hit one of these targets. Yeah, let's just see. Eh. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Might have to put the sensitivity up a bit more. Oh, and you just saw there we could mantle a uh, mantle a uh, wall by jumping up next to it. Also, uh, we can pick up the arrows if they're stuck in wood. If they hit um, stone or metal, then you cannot pick them up because they break, essentially. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice run. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Yeah. Ideally, we shouldn't have to make use of these methods. We have a block also, which is I have as middle mouse button, but, you know, it's not really going to matter. Well done. Keep sparring if you wish. When you are done, leave the sparring area. No thanks. I don't That's want to fight anymore. sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Oh. 
Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Garrett? Please pick up all of the items on this table. Okay. And a key and a potion. cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. The Excuse next me. test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. Let's just follow this guy. Okay. I believe. Actually. Right, now how am I going to do this? Uh, let's see. Check the controls. Because we have an inventory. Uh. Heal weapon, noisemaker, heal potion. Lockpicks. Do I have. Need to toggle to shift, use item, yeah. Next item. Right, here we go. Uh, next item can be X. Previous item could be Z. Here we go. There we go. There's our compass. We have an apple. Oh. <laughs> oh, open door. There we go. <laughs> and here's a bit of a secret area. Let's, uh... Pick up this basketball. Ow. <laughs> Wait. Damn it. I don't actually ref I don't actually remember when this game came out. But, you know, bouncing physics in it are kind of impressive. Yay! Is that supposed to be like hearing or something when we get this? <laughs> or did it not go in? <laughs> what is this weird game? Dem oh, okay, fine, whatever. There's also this here. Which uh, we can look at. Bedroll. It's a uh, list of like quotes from the uh, dark team, the people who worked in the game. <laughs> oh, people. Okay, uh, I think we could drop this as well. Let me just go to my controls because that could be useful. And let's put clear as C and I'll put drop item as V. There we go. Bonk. Okay. You're right, lad. You're just gonna stand it. He looks like the, uh, he's the same like poly count as the uh, soldiers in like Dungeon Keeper 2. Oh man. Actually, what was it that I was thinking of? Oh, that's right. I think this is the same engine which uh, Alien vs Predator 2 runs on. Or something like that. Like it's an updated version, but I think that was what that was the game. That that I was thinking of. Or like the AVP engine is the same one as this. Something like that. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Okay. Then use the key on the door. As you saw, this closed off, so you have to go in there when that guy is walking through. Otherwise, you miss out on that little Good. secret area. Head down this hallway to get to your next test. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Okay. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Wait. 
Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. I think it's actually possible to... In... <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> I think it is possible to get to a spot outside of the level somewhere. Around here. Maybe not this area. Good jump. Good jump. This obstacle is easy to climb <sighs> if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. I am most pleased with your progress. You have passed the last test. Oh today. boy. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, you may return to your chambers by going through that red door. Farewell. Okay. And that is the secret of the uh, watchers. How they stay hidden. <laughs> Just stay in the shadow. Did we? No, we can't actually get up there. Okay. Let's go here then. The keepers were training me to be one of them. But I found other uses for those skills. What's a plant? Get out of here. Oh. Okay. There were some vases on the end there which you could have grabbed, but... Ten minutes! And let's continue. These cutscenes are great. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in. Around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter. Silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place, and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Okay, untie. Good time for I to start a bit of burglary. So, uh, yeah, as we'll see here, I'll just change it through the difficulties. We see on normal difficulty, we have these two objectives. Hard we have these, and on very hard, we have this, which, it's just, the extra one is, you know, don't kill anyone, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. So, expert, sneak into Lord Baffin's manor and case the place. The well house in back is your best bet. If you can get the key from the guard, blackjacking or pickpocketing him would be quietest. Find Lord Baffin's prized jeweled scepter and redistribute it. Redistribute it to yourself. Try to do it without causing too much commotion. In addition to pinching the scepter, steal 700 worth of value, valuables while you're in the manor. Don't kill anyone while you do the job. No servants, no guards, no pets, no one. Once you've achieved your other objectives, get out of the manor house and back to the city streets. So yes. Uh, just, you know, a few extra things. If we played it on normal, we'd just have to steal the scepter. If we played it on hard, we would have to steal at least 350 worth of valuables. But a very hard, it's just 700. Um... 
as I said, I haven't, I don't, no, I don't think I've played through this game before. I might have. <laughs> it's hard to remember. So many games. Um, come up for the challenge. I'm not going to be doing a ghost run of this. Uh, I'm going to try and not be seen. I'm not going to kill anyone. I'm not going to, like, try and be completely undetected. Well, you know, I will try and be undetected, but if a guy gets alerted, I'm not going to be, like, too fussed about it. I'll just try and lose them. Continue. And here we go. We can choose our starting items, or we can p purchase some extra items um, for the level if we want. We have 300 gold or cash down here to spend on items over here, which we have access to broadhead arrows, sharp arrows. They deal damage, but we're not going to be dealing any damage. <laughs> Healing potions to restore lost health. They could be useful if we took damage from like environmental um, situate environmental hazards, um, but, you know, yeah. and water arrows, which they don't do any damage, but they douse tornado, um, torches, not tornadoes, and other burning objects. So yeah, we have eight of them, how much are they each? We have 50 each, oh, it says down there. I don't know. I want, would I want some of those? Eight of them is... Hmm. I don't think there's any purpose for the for the money other than just uh, it, I think it, it carries over to other missions. So having spending less means that you have more later on. But it's not like the uh, whole purchasing of items thing is I think that important in the game anyway. It'll become more interesting a bit later on, but uh, not so much right now. Let's. I don't think I think these eight are going to be fine for me. We've got our blackjack. This weapon will knock out an unsuspecting target with little noise and no blood. That's important to note. To note, uh, if you kill someone, which we're not going to be doing, but if you do, uh, they'll leave a blood stain on the ground, and you'll have to use a water arrow to uh, get rid of the blood. Otherwise, someone will come across it and be like, "Hey, there's blood on the floor. There's not supposed to be, but what happened here?" Uh, our sword here, I didn't actually mention it in the tutorial, but if you have your sword drawn, you're more visible because the sword's a reflective surface, so you want to hide it or put it away when you're not using it. We're not going to be using it, uh, except for possibly cutting ropes and all that. So, got one healing potion, that should be fine. And 36 broadhead arrows. I don't think we can sell them. No, we can't. Oh, well, let's just start. Yeah, pardon me. And let me do a save. Save success successful. Maybe I'll do a proper save. There we go. Oh dear. Out of me. This is getting snippy. Let's have a look here. We're just in the streets. Hey, I'm going to the bear pit tomorrow. Ain't you want to come with? <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough. Ooh. What? You soft belly. The bears have got these new muzzles with underslung cheek spikes. <coughs> Last time I was there, there was a real eye gouging. <coughs> nah, nah. It makes me sick. When I was a kid. Huh. <coughs> Surprised you're even in this job. <laughs> Ooh, the blood, it just turns my poor tummy. <coughs> Shut up, you taffer. You want blood? You should have been there years ago. Tell you, the bears then. Hey, he does have a key on him. To see. Those bears, they didn't need no cheek spikes and razor collars and paw hooks and all that knifery you straps to them now. No paw hooks? What'd they do? Just bump into each other? <laughs> <laughs> nah. The bears back then? They had claws as long as your finger and wicked teeth. Bears? You're toughing me. <laughs> they look pretty mangy harmless, long as they're not wearing <laughs> harness. That's why I can't stand the pits now. You don't know what you missed. They just don't make <clears throat> bears like they used to. Whoa! Killer bears! 
Would have liked to see that. <coughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Funny dialogue. Uh. So, do we have a map? We do. Here we go. Heavily guarded. Do not try frontal assault. Front entrance. This is where we start. That's where we were just looking. Watch for interior patrols. Arrow cache. Pick up en route. Basement. Well, leads to basement via waterway. Basement entrance in the well. One guard. Baffin Mansion, first floor. Oh, we've got the second floor of it as well. Two first floor. Baffin Mansion, second floor. Throne room. Scepter. So yeah, this is... It, it's, it's neat, this, because it's just like a drawing. And we don't actually know any more about it inside, other than guessing the shape of it based on, I suppose, how the building looks outside. And these uh, stairways in here. Also see there's a guard here, a guard here. Three guards, as we saw them out the front here. Apparently there's some arrows over here, so we'll have a look around here. Something in there. Uh, let's see. Hmm. A meter? Yeah, you've probably noticed this is essentially a medieval sort of fantasy world. However, there is some technology around. Like, that's like a electrical or gas lamp or something like that. Can we get into there? Must be able to. There has to be a door or something. Unless I went past it. Not a weird street lamp. Interesting though. There's a sewer entrance. We're fine not being too sneaky around here because this is just a street and you know. We're al perfectly allowed to uh, wander around here. I don't know if there's a curfew in the city. I think that's also just what it's called. The city. Can we like... No. Ugh, pardon me. Uh, actually, where is it? Is this the right place? Let's see. We went here. Uh. Hmm. That means. So if I'm here, go there. Up. Should be like here or something. No arrows behind there, from what I can see. You also can't lean into walls if you try to. You just sort of bump your head up on it. Uh. Um. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes. Arrow cage. Very well hidden. We just pick those up. A few more water arrows. How many do we have now, actually? Uh, let me see. If I bring out this... How do I change the arrows? Let's see. Uh, water, water arrow. Four. Okay, they're under different keys. Twelve now. There we go. Let's just put them away. And let's have a look around here. This is... Bafford Manor. Hello, sir. How's it going? You wouldn't happen to have a key on you, would you? No? There, it is one thing in this game which I'm going to have to be keeping an eye out. He's got some bottles in front of him. How's it going? Yep. Perfectly fine. <coughs> Do you have anything on you, sir? 
You do. You have a key. Oh. We'll just take that. You don't have to uh, be hidden to be able to pick up a key from someone. As long as you're within range of being able to take it. You're able to take it. Garrett's nimble enough that uh, he doesn't alert people to uh, them getting pickpocketed. Okay, I don't know which one of these sewers ratings which we should go into. See, that's the well, that's the guard. Basement entrance is apparently in there. Okay. Well, let's go in there then. Uh, just wait for this guy to uh, wander away. I hope things are bright enough. This game is very dark. I might turn the gamma up a little bit. I mean, this game is, you know, while well, sneaking around in the dark. Doesn't actually seem to really change too much. Oh well. Let's, uh... Don't mind me, sir. I am just, you know. There we go. Fuck it. And... <laughs> ah, splash. Okay. Great. We're in the well. Let's start swimming down here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually know where we're supposed to go in here. There's a hole down there. We've got a breath meter? Yes, we do. Those bubbles are our breath meter. I suppose there'll be multiple entrances. Ooh, hello. What's this? Inside at last. Ah. Thank you, Garrett, for telling me. Okay, there's some boxes here. I was going to say, can we just, like, drop this quietly? There we go. Pick it up. And for me, just press V. You have to drop item. Since it's kind of in your inventory, you don't just chuck it across the, across the world. Okay. Hello? Round? I've been thinking. The sir could really beef up security. What do you mean? What's wrong with us? Well, we're fine. But I've been thinking we should watch the outside too. That's stupid. People to worry about <laughs> there on the inside. No, then you catch nope. them before they get inside, you tapper. <laughs> Oh. Oh. We are now very solidly in a place where we're not supposed to be, so get caught. Going to be very good for us. Uh, I can hear people walking around. Hello? There's a guard over there. I can hear someone walking around a metal. Hmm. What's over there? A room with a book and there's a key on it. I hear that guard coming back. Oop. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh... Cough, cough, cough. Uh... He doesn't come over here. Is he just standing in the doorway there? Ah. And you might just see something on my uh, light gem down the bottom there. I believe, due to a bit of a bug in the game, door frames like this actually have the darkest shadows in the game in them, so you can actually hide here. And you'll be perfectly hidden from the enemy, from the uh, guards and all that. Even if they bump into you, I don't think they can see you. <laughs> so. Okay, you're just standing there. not on patrol, are you? No. Key on you? No, you don't. There's an apple there. Okay. Also, something to note. Since this game has gas lights in it, we can't douse gas lights with our... Uh, or the electric lights with our uh, water light torch. With our water arrows. I only do it to these lamps. These torches. Oop. Hmm. Let me just have a look at something. Uh, I'm just going to... Fiddle with... Uh, let me see. Because I'm worried about it being a bit too dark, so I'm going to... Uh... Let's see, which one would it be? Mm. Oh, I don't really know. Apologies if it's dark. Again, it kind of looks fine to me, but I'm looking at the capture and it's... It dark still. Not massively dark. I'll put the camera up a bit more just to be safe. I'll have to see whether I can adjust OBS in the future to uh, increase the uh, color. Doesn't seem like the gamma really changes the capture. It looks visible. Shouldn't be too bad. But after like it, the image gets degraded from uploading it to YouTube perhaps. Okay, so we're on the other side here. Is there anything in this? Ooh. Okay, let's uh, head back around. I don't think there's anything up on these shelves. No, there's these pots and all that. They're not valuable. Okay, those are metal. Don't want to stand on them. That's a shovel. If we stand here, like perfectly hidden, okay. This is back here. Do you have a key on you, sir? No, there's the uh, door there which we can go through. No, you do not have a key on you. Okay. Eh. Get around its barrels and... Long. Go in here. 
where there's absolutely nothing and this is just a room with nothing in it. Well, we can hide in them when he comes back, so. We'll just sit here for a moment. Now, the game does say not kill anyone, and uh, it doesn't say anything about knocking them out, which I will allow myself to do if I absolutely need to. I don't think there's any limitations on knocking people out. I don't think whether they have a helmet on affects them. It's just whether you hit them from behind. Uh... Without being detected. Okay, there was nothing in any of those rooms. Wonderful. Lovely. I suppose we actually have to get past that other guard. Am I going in circles again? I am. Uh. Okay. We just have to get past that guy. Hey. Who's there? It's so Oh. Oh. I was here. Oh dear. Okay, let's just load that again. So I think we have we have to alert him and get him out of that spot. No one. Just make one little noise. Come over here. Oh, well, it's like it was nothing. Ah, <sighs> I should just knock him out, It'd be easier. Since I'm going just on expert and not uh, trying to be ghost, just showcase this. I think you can actually push him, push him out of the way, carefully. <laughs> Let me just try that. Don't actually know how you'd be able to. Oh. Push him out of the way? Whatever. There you go. That's what you get. And we put our blackjack away, and we can carry him and deposit him somewhere where he's unlikely to be discovered. Behind these boxes? Or not? Over here. No. Thump. He's just unconscious, he's not dead. If uh, another guard comes across his unconscious body, they'll wake him up. And then they'll be under alert. We pick up some other things from that. I don't actually know what was in there. And let's continue. Is there anything behind these boxes? No. Okay, let's go up here. Sneaky. Uh, there's some boxes here. Uh, since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. Yes. That's a. Uh, that's noisy. If you didn't pick up on that, 
You don't want to alert anyone unnecessarily. Okay. There. And we look at our map. I don't actually know where we are. I think we're, I suppose we're in here since that's highlighted. But we're in there. Oh, there. Okay. There could be stuff behind tapestries. Drunk guard again. You have a key on you, sir. No. You just keep doping. Okay. Now let me see. Sometimes you can break these, I think. Yep, there we go. Nothing behind it. Sometimes there is. I don't know if guards notice if you break a uh, tapestry. That. Uh. Essentially, that's just what we'll be using our sword for. No fighting. That's not Garrett's style. If you did, if you noticed during the tutorial, combat is uh not a strong point of the game. By purpose. Purp. Uh, by design. Okay, let's have a here. Storage room. Hmm. Some chairs. A barrel. This is back into the kitchen proper. Can we have a look into that kitchen area? There was like a apron. Have to be careful. Okay. The uh, servants. We're told specifically not to hurt the servants, but uh, on hard difficulty, not to kill any. They just hide. What's this say? What's that in the shadow there? Nothing. Oh, I hate rats. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too, mate. Cedric, please speak to Cook about last night's dinner. While technically the menu conformed to my instructions, I suspect that the lamb was somewhat older than this spring's. And I am in no way fooled by his practice of warming the salad to disguise wilting. If Cook is incapable of finding adequate ingredients, he can be replaced. And if he offers those same excuses about the stone market shortages, please remind him that the grocery budget is a good 50% above last year's figures, and even he should be able to procure adequate victuals at those prices. Lord Bafford. Yeah. Okay. Uh, take some food for ourselves. Is that something we can steal? That is. Is there anything else in here which we can take? There's a piece of meat over there, but that I think just heals like one hit point worth of health. So we don't need it. But we did get some loot there. Can we actually see like... Ah, there we go. Gold. 105. So we've got 105 so far. I can hear it Let's see. 
It just passed out in bed. I don't see any valuables in there. Someone coming. They can wake up. Okay, let's continue on. Careful, careful. I wish the controls for controlling your speed were a little bit better. That's where we came up. That's... Uh, where is this to? Oh, the storage room, is it? Yep. Okay, let's go through here and then into the... Uh, Mansion proper because we're in the servants' quarters currently. There'll be more loot to find in the actual mansion itself. Someone walking around. In here. No. Coming. Okay, okay. That's just a vase, we can't take that. Look in here. Something there. Nope. Sorry, mate. Do you have like a key on you or something, sir? Ooh. Doesn't look like you do. Are you just doing a loop around this room? Going back now. Hmm. You don't have anything on your belt? No. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> if you would just head back into that room where you were before, and I could follow behind you, that would be... Well, who's there? No one's here. Oh. Oh well. Must have nothing. Are these valuable? No, they're not. Uh. Um. Paintings up on the wall. Various classical works. Fantasy ones. <laughs> Is there anything... Back here? No. There's some duplicates! wait for you to come past so I can get back to there a 
as I said, I'm pretty sure the guards won't notice if the door's open. Yep. Okay. Uh, what was that noise? Nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Just the wind, I guess. Just the wind. What a rat. Must have been the wind. Someone around here? What's this say? To all staff, the sir will be taking his dinner and evening out tonight, so domestics and manservants have the night free. Housekeep is still expected to finish the quarters and the general polish. The house guard is not to find this an opportunity opportunity to shirk, and lapses will be brought up with the sir, Cedric. Well, some of the guards are slacking off there. Quite drunk. Possibly they're not paid enough to care. They don't really respect their lord. I don't know. Let's go in here. Another one of those paintings. Yoink. Cheese and some bread. It means, uh... Does mean that Garrett doesn't have to pay grocery. Vars. Oh, <clears throat> bugger. Yes, Garrett, just skip down the stairs, why don't you? Over here. Ah, he actually, look at that. He actually, like, pops his head out of the uh, hole to have a look. That's nice. Okay. Hey, bugger it! Hold it right there, Tapper. No, 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 no. No one's here, mate. Rumbled. As soon as I find you, you're dead. Mm. I was just there. <sighs> so, yeah. As I said, I'm not playing a ghost run. I'm gonna be trying to be as sneaky as possible. I'm not going to reload if we get detected like that. It's not a big deal. I'll, I will hold myself to not killing anyone, though. Though I believe... In some of the later levels, it could be extremely difficult to adhere to that. Because even these games... Uh, Kind of get a bit more combat heavy towards the end. You have anything on you? No, you do not. Can douse fire? I'm gonna run up those stairs. Anything up here? Let's see. There's a chest here. There was some loot in it! Huzzah! How much do we have now? Uh, we have 367 gold. Okay. There's no time limit for these levels, so we can take our time. Which is what this game is about. Taking your time. Nope. Okay. Nothing making noise now. Nothing making noise now. Okay. Let's continue on. Stairs. So we're here. And I think we were just above the entrance there. We're looking in one of these. Don't actually know which one. 
I suppose... Actually, I don't know. No, hang on. This is, uh... That's where we're looking currently. So this stairway leads up... Or leads down, rather. We're on the second floor. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Having to determine your location via map, which doesn't actually have an arrow on it. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> I think I saw something. No, nope, you didn't. That's the last time I jump for rats. Coming over to have a look? I don't think you are. I didn't hear his footstep change, so he might have, he just caught a glimpse of something. But he wrote it off. Okay, let's go up these stairs. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Something in there. Okay, can we actually have a look at these uh, arrow slits? Nope. Our head can't fit through them. It's all you. It would be nice if you had a, uh, you know, get lower to the ground option. Go prone rather than crouch. For a situation like that, anyway. Very limited situation, but... Nope. Who is there? Is someone there? Oh well. I don't know what it was. Yep. As we saw, heard, God can hear you through walls. Hey, stop! Don't, don't move! Bugger it! Yee! Nope. This is going swimmingly, isn't it? What's going on over there? Stop right there. Nothing. Woo. We can take them. <laughs> I agree. Uh. Boop, 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 boop. have to work up to the uh, reputation of being a master thief. I think they will eventually uh, go off like Alert status. Okay, nothing in there. Who is there? Is someone there? Nope. We've been up here, haven't we? Yes, we have. <coughs> and I... I suppose you're below me? <laughs> These places are... <laughs> hey! You got eyes in the back of your head or something? <laughs> Ah! 
I heard that. Hey, Jim. Stop right there. As soon as I find you, you're dead. Now, are you coming over to my cubby? No. I'm not here. Show yourself. Hey, where'd you come from? Oh, no. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, we'll just reload. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. This is. I think. We didn't clear out here first. Clear out here yet, so I'll just grab that and Okay. Now let us save. We have to find the uh throne room, which is on the second floor, which is where we are. No. It's like the guard over there said something. Okay. I'm not here. <laughs> Thing in the fireplace. <laughs> Go up here again. We'll find you soon enough. That was someone below. Nope. Eh. Leave me alone. I just want to go and eat grubs. Oh, I didn't. Where are you, you top? Eh. I took damage. Let's just reload. Okay. So we have to go from here. We have to get past that other guard. Who... So where are we? We're like upstairs. Hmm. Right. Yeah, that's the rooms with the stairs which lead up. It was like the thing on one of the tables there, but there's nothing in that one. But that one I don't think actually leads. Come on. Come past again. Okay, back on track. Until there's a guard behind this door. No. Nope. Wonder if he reads them or if it's just for show. Mm -hmm. The more books you have, a <laughs> data symbol. What's this? Papyrus. My lordy, my lordy Bafford. 
Speak, sea cell, to guinea, did you bid? Drek bound the hammer hearts have been afoot, a skulk, a ferreting, about grabbing many a one to vanish in the cold stone down below their forgy changed cells. Took they, your dealer, Taki, in their clutches, night past, and two patrons as well, named of Lasail and Rian, scuppered up as they left, and these not the first, cries guinea. Little wonder then if Drekbound grows sparse come these days. Of course, the lack of blame to one hand, but I gave Guinea a firm understandsy, blood and doom and the whole book, so he'll be learning him and, and him and all he can about how to turn the hammers off him, never you fear. About your Victoria, nothing yet. Walks she an inch above the ground, for all the dirt of her footprints have I found. Dominic. Hmm. Okay. What a loss of, uh... Nonsense. Is it? Dun dun dun. What's this? Oh, nice little uh, brooch. And it's a book. Lord Bafford, a recent delivery of antiquities from Bone contains several items which we felt might be of interest to you. Descriptions follow, but you are welcome to drop by our shop to examine them or other goods in person. An ornamental scepter, three feet in length, the body of the stave is weirwood, carved in the star and dot pattern. Six inches of the ferrule and five inches of the grip are bound with burnished copper overlaid by an ink and glaze raccordaire varnish. I have no idea what that word is. The crowning feature of this magnificent piece, however, is the six-inch teardrop cut cloud stone, one of the finest of its type we have seen. A treasure box of two feet by three feet of silver birch wood. The lid is of inlaid pear line and onyx in a maze pattern carved into the wood. The feet are lion paws, each clutching a crystal globe. The inside of the box contains two principal compartments, one with glass shells and one without. Beneath the compartments is a lockable two-inch false bottom for your most valuable treasures. Grimworth and De Perrin. Fine antiquities and precious relics. Now. Yeah. Nice. We'll be stopping to read books and all that. It's a lot of world building and because we're not going to get much information outside of it, really. Well, you know, other than plot important stuff. Okay. See you. You've been doing. you are. <laughs> Get out of here, moth. I mean, this room is lit up. I suppose it's a torch there? Or that candle there or something? But I don't really know how it is lit up so brightly. Makes sense if it's a reading room, but... Uh... Okay. Went all the way up there again? I really wait that long. Come on. <clears throat> you turn around? <laughs> hey, it's just watching the door open and close on its own. Okay. Oh, I, I suppose they're on a patrol route? Something like that. Yep, they are. Follow behind. Quietly, of course, because these are stones and our footfall is rather loud. It's not massively loud, though. Huh. What's down here? Just back down to the uh, storage area. What? Where are we going? Uh, 
Nothing underneath the stairs there? No. No boxes with like steel armor in it. Oh! It's this room! How about that? Yoink! Take that key. Three twenty-four thirty-four. Two thousand three hundred forty-two. Cash pits. Sunny fair. Seven hundred thirty-four. Interest payments. Sunny fair. Four sixty-one. Ramirez. Sunny fair. One fifty-three. Girls shopping trip. Sunny fair. One thousand four hundred ninety-one. Cash pits and dealer take. Dreckbound. Three twenty. Interest payment. Dreckbound. Two seventy-two. Ramirez. Dreckbound. Two thousand seven hundred eighty-five. Cash pits. Liquor net. Fenton. One thousand eight hundred fifty-two. Interest payment. Fenton. Six hundred ninety-six. Ramirez. Fenton. 7,942. Uh, okay. Okay. What the hell is going on with Drekbound? Even if Guinea's, Guinea's grafting, he damn well ought to be more subtle than this. If it's not turned around in another week, toss it up to Ramirez's breach. Okay. I suppose someone is like... I, I don't really know. Money, problems... Spending money on things which they shouldn't be. Hmm. Okay, how are we going for loot? Four hundred and seventy-nine. Six hundred and seventy-nine total. Okay. We've got a compass, so we can tell which way is north. Actually, more useful than you think. Helps with navigating the map. Well, let's see. Yeah. So, we're in here. And we're facing, like, Facing like this way. Um, okay. Have to get into that central. I think that guard's got gold armor on. Ooh. It's a bath. Anything in the bath? Don't. <laughs> See anything in the bath? Except for Garrett. <clears throat> Going to go past. Yes. Do you have something on your belt? You have a key on your belt. Who goes? Oh, bugger. Who go? Now. Must have been rats. Is that you? Seems clear enough now. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. What's this? Ooh. Nice crown. Just uh, it's down here. Some monies. Nice armoire. Apparently, nothing is inside of it. Nice still life. Some more bees for Bafford. Another like fantasy book cover or something. Okay. How much have we got now? Uh, 602. Gold, 150. Goods, 100. Oh, gold gems, good. Okay, 852 total. So we actually have, uh, achieved our objective of getting 700 in loot. So I don't have counts of how much money there is in the level. So I'll just be trying to achieve, you know, 
as much as we as much as the max is rather than or as much as we require rather than getting all of the loot at a level i since i don't know how much there is what happened what happened he just walks past, even though the door just. Who's noising about then? Oh, one. That's the last time I jump for rats. So stop tapping with me. Show yourself. Oh, bugger. Oh. Bugger it. Come back here and fight. Thought I saw some. Hey, nope. You over there. Don't move. I'm moving. You can't stop me. I was born to move. Ye. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. No. <clears throat> okay, we'll just have to wait for that guard to go past and then sneak along behind them. Remove. It's annoying, I can't hold down shift to the breast cube. To uh, lean. I suppose I could put that in as a command to lean, shift, and Q. Actually, I could do that. No, I don't. Let's see. Lean. Yeah. Go. <laughs> it, it's like doubling up, kind of, but it, if it if it works. Makes things a bit easier. What happened here? And it doesn't count control for leaning. Hey, what was that noise? Nothing. Too much coffee this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Coffees? Seems clear. Have coffee? Don't know if I'm going to try and pickpocket people. Don't know if it keeps track of that. I think it does. Strange door gates. Gotta stop jumping and knock. Okay, we check down there. Who goes there? <laughs> it just like catches a glimpse of us in his periphery. Who goes there? Who made that noise? He's been alerted. Come out here, I dare you. Someone there? All right, what is that? As soon as I find you, you're dead. Okay. Then these no non-carpeted floors. Okay. Those are valuable. Bottles of wine. That is a fireplace with a fire in it. Hey, you can actually see out into the streets where we were before. It's one thing I really like about this game and the sequel, uh, Thief 2, is that the levels are non linear. It's just like, here's a mansion. Break into it, and there's usually one or two ways. And then you it's up to you to find your way around the insides. Who's done this? <coughs> Which I really like, because it allows you to no. come up with your own methods. <laughs> nope. Is there anything in here? That's nothing I can take. Okay, and we're back over here. 
Did I go into the throne room? I suppose I didn't. I have to go back. <laughs> Bump. I would like that key you have. Another problem of alerting the guards is that it they they go back onto their patrol, but like their spacing is different. As you can see, they're much closer to each other now. That could be a benefit. <clears throat> we go down. Let's see. Okay. Ah, it's locked. Do I have a key? That's the guard, that's the key the guards have. Unless that key I picked up from that small room. Hey, it is. No, I want that key. Okay. Just... Don't hit the gongs. <laughs> um. Who is there? Is someone there? No. Oh well. I don't know what it was. What you gonna be doing? You're turn turning around. <clears throat> I have to get past you, don't I? I've already knocked one person out. I suppose I could just blackjack you. You got to turn around anytime soon. Are you stuck now? Nope. Don't worry. Sleep now. <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Yeah. Okay. This is what we're here for. Here we go. And that's what we needed. Now we have to get out, I believe. Objectives. Don't kill anyone. Completed. Return to the city street. Yes. Let's get ow back out of here. As I said, I'm just looking to finish this on expert, not necessarily ghosting it. There are ghost playthroughs on. So it's a bit above. Wow, oh, I suppose I could do that. It would take a lot longer, though. And a lot of finagling for things like that guy there. If you wanted to get past him without him actually noticing you, you would have to, uh, well, sneak right around him, which would take a long time. What's that? Who goes? That's the last time I jump for rats. Is that you? Okay, and we have to go. Nothing to be seen now. Back that way. <sighs> Can we drop the compass? No, we can't.
Let's see. Hmm. Careful, careful. May have gotten what we came for, but we still have to sneak our way out of here. There wasn't What's anything down there. That was just to a dead end room. Stop tapping with me. Show yourself. Stop tapping. Ah, stop right there. I correct. Whoop. Don't mind me. Hey. No. Bugger it. <laughs> okay, well, we got what we needed. What do I see there? Hmm. Must have been rats. Who's there? Is that you? Pokey head around the corner, I think Sorry. one to guard there, nope, two guard. Okay, wait for him to go past. And they're both close together so we can... Who's noising about then? down here <coughs> it just it's just footsteps everywhere that's the front door Check in here. No, we didn't. Eh. Oh. Yoink. Okay, that's back into there. side gate to exit that way and there we go hey so we can see you know pockets picked two out of four backstab zero knockouts two i didn't take any damage though and we didn't kill anyone no, i didn't pick all the pockets the other one was the two keys the guards had up the top there we did get in all the loot Actually, it does give you a counter there for it at the end. 14,229. Ah, but we achieved our goal, so it's fine. Loot translates into money. Um, did I explain that earlier? Perhaps. Anyway, let's continue.
went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So, hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines, and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill into the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. Okay. Yay, we're breaking into a prison. Oh. Your map doesn't show the way through the mines, so you're going to have to scout around to make your way to where they hold the prisoners. Cutty still owns you for the Baffert job. Break him out and you'll get your cash. You've had your eye on Basso the Boxman's sister for a while now. If you break him out of Craig's Cleft, Craig's Cleft, you'll probably be very grateful. Is it the beggar borrowed your lucky hand of glory and, knowing him, probably hid it from the hammer's body search in ways you'd rather not think about? Get it back. There's bound to be some pricely, pricey religious icons in any hammer complex. Try to come out with at least a thousand gold worth of their stuff. Escape from the prison with Cutty and Basso the Boxman. A true professional doesn't leave a mess. Don't kill anyone. Okay. We have a few other things here. Water arrows. See our cash has gone up a bit. Healing potion. Speed potion. Which increase your speed for a while when you drink it. Broadhead arrows. There's also these tips here. And these. Moss arrows. This arrow sends out a cloud of moss upon impact which settles into a soft and silent carpet. It creates like a circle of area on the ground which is uh, effectively carpet um, as it says but it's like it can be useful but uh, I mean it's not that big of an area it can help I suppose in some places guard I don't think they draw attention either so you can just chuck it and guards you can just fire it and guards won't like Say, hey, why is there moss all over the ground? We also have this here, a noisemaker arrow. The mechanism in this produces a strange noise upon impact, useful as a distraction. Got these tips. Uh, a former prisoner of Craig Craig's cleft says he has info about the horns of mines. Sure, let's buy that. And hot tip. A few well-placed inquiries might reveal where the hammers are keeping cutting. Cost 300. Sorry. There we go. So we'll have a look at those. And let's have a look at our tips. Let's see. Tip. What's this? Word on the street is that the hammers are eager to get, take back the top level of the haunted mines because there's a specially blessed holy water font there. And what's the uh, hot tip? According to Dickett, a heretic who was recently left let out of Crag's Cleft, but he's being held in cell... Oh, according to Dickett, a heretic who was recently left out of Crag's Cleft, Cutty's being held in cell block 4. Okay, so apparently we know where to look for him, for Cutty. Make a save. We might not be able to finish this one, this session, but uh... Uh! Oh well. We'll save it and continue it. Daytime. Hiss. Let's get into the mine. Is there any loot around here? Could be some gems and so on in the mine. Oh, hello. See you. Yoink. Okay. I must say, Garrett, you've got better lungs on you than Caleb. Oh. There we go. Okay. Right, yes. Um, hmm. That's a bit worrisome. 
corpse there on the ground. The Hammerite's just dropping people down here. To look around. Multicolored walls. Oh my. Let's see. Hmm. Box. Is there anything behind it? Nope. Ooh, there's an elevator. Okay. Behind there? Nope. Right, okay. Another corpse. Excuse me? Um, right. Worrisome. Let's uh, stay away from that. Let's go back around this way. Barrels? Is there any amongst the massive cog factory? <gasps> okay. Tesla cable? Yeah, I don't like that. Let's, uh, move away quickly. Oh, hello. Animal? What? Right. Nothing there. Oh, hang on. Ow. It's a crack in the wall. Okay. You have to go past these corpses. Don't really want to. Please, sir, stop. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's no normal corpse. And apparently it's a zombie. Well, we are definitely not equipped to deal with zombies. That's just a corpse. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too fussed about them seeing us. They're just zombies. I mean, just zombies. Oh, oh, bugger it. Just reload. <laughs> Get in there. There we go. Did that wake you up? No, it didn't. Oh, how about that? Last. And <laughs> up. Thank you. There. It was save again. Platforming's not really a. Uh, you know, I hold down like shift to run because I'm used to it, but running is default in this game. Or at least the way I've set it up. You can have walk as W, uh, but I have R as. Uh, I just have W as run. Just, just because I can hold down shift to walk slowly. <laughs> Come on, Garrett. <laughs> Oof, jeez. Okay, there we go. We're like floating along the edge there. Okay, boulder. 
I suppose that's a way you could have gotten into the uh, upper area. <laughs> Can I jump up there? Come on. Thank you. Mantling feature in this game is really quite nice. Simple, but... Like that. I wasn't even pressing forward there. I was just look, pressing space, holding it down, and Garrett automatically pull, pull, pulls himself up onto the ledge. Ah. Hello? Have you... They might have seen me. I don't know if they count. Actually, are we back? We're back here. Okay. Maybe? No? Uh. Are there gems in here? I think I can see. Let's swim over here. Actually, hang on. Back where I came from. What? <laughs> I think it is. I'm just going to go back and check. I'm pretty sure we don't have to go through water, so I think I've done a big loop de loop. No, we haven't. Okay. So that was another area. Yeah, it is different. How about that? Time was. All these halls would be place packed with novices, striving to learn our teachings. There are novices still. But fewer, brother, fewer. Youths in this time seek to learn about gold and politics, not honest craft. To be their loss when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. <coughs> hmm. Hammerites. Big Jim. <clears throat> Actually, no, it's not. It's a head. <laughs> I don't want that. I thought it was a big gem. It was grey. Okay. Hmm. Here. Board. Oh! the frick are you? I'm sorry? I mean, aside from a skeleton, but, uh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. What? Oh. Oh, I'm back here. It's like a spooky trap or something? Okay. Weird. I suppose it's just there to spook players. Let's continue on. Okay, can I...
Hey, zombie. I think he's taking a bait. I don't know if this will affect us. Actually, it just reminds me. Okay, did that? I didn't kill him. I don't think that counts against me. Even though I am kind of responsible. You'll know. Yeah, there's not that much AI for fight in fighting. Zombies fight, but they don't defend themselves. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, has it failed me? So I suppose I'll take it. Uh, oh, that's around that way. Okay. That's it? Let me check again. Nope. Alright, let's go up here. Into the uh, prison proper. Or factory, I think it is. Who passes there? No one passes there. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Ah, hammer. <laughs> Stop! Oh. Who art thou? No one. Yeah, you've seen me. Okay. Uh, I love how Garrett's like, I gotta open up this chest. Oh, it's a hammer. It's a really heavy, large, loud hammer. Definitely gotta pick that up. Yoink. Okay. Eee. Damn it! <laughs> Again? <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see. Go on. If I could go around the edges, that would be better. Where are you going to go? Who is there? No one's. Is someone there? No one's there. Hmm. No one walks here now. Nope. Or crazy for thinking so. Hmm. Okay. I have to get past you. Um, <coughs> patrol, patrol route? So you go up there, then you turn around. And you go back. Okay, into that room. If thou be there, bespeak thyself. Who goes? Who is there? Nope. 
The gate just mysteriously opened by itself. Okay. Factory. Ah, this is where they make the hammers. There's these big red levers. You have anything on your belt? Must someone come? No. It seems nothing now. Busy place. Uh, oh, I see. They're putting the hammers into the boxes. They must produce more hammers. Playing civilization. Don't have anything on their belt. Something moved, thought I saw. Nope. Yes, yes. Okay, where are we ex exactly? Okay, we're in the factory. I think we're here. We have to go this way to the prison. Two mines there. Worker, worker, worker. Power stations, store rooms, the control room. That's where we opened it. Or I suppose, and then I skadoodled around here. So we have to drop down. Ah, oh, here come. Uh, to get into the prison, we have to go that way. Can I drop down here without taking damage? I can. Yes, yeah, so all is silent. Absolutely quiet. It's amazing how quiet it is. I have never heard such carrying on as this thief's pawn, Cuddy. One would think these scum had never faced tribulation in their lives. For a time, I thought Block Four might never sleep again for his coughs, but he quiets now. Good. Death or Doran's twill be the same for him in the end. That doesn't sound very good. It seems quiet enough now. It's all block four. We got much in the way of loot. Actually, no, we got a bunch of gems, didn't we? Let's see. We've got 235, but we need a thousand. I think we'll get more now that we're up with the uh Up around near where the Hammerites are. These people seem rather callous. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, you've got something. You've got a key on you. Hello. What's this? A... Oh. Felix's note. Cutty. I got me a big one, I does. The Horner Quintus Cutty. I can be paying off some debts with this one, believe you me. I got me a map drawn by some dead old bugger which shows a way in. I know it's down there in the bone hoard. Just like they always said. They say what the they say what that the dead walk down there, but ah, it's worth the risk now, ain't it? The way I hears it, the sound of the horn echoing will lead me right to the thing. I'm leaving you a copy of the map in case anything happens to me down there, but more's the chance that I'll see you topside, making a toast with the finest wine to be had. See you then. I don't think it ended very well for him. 
but there is this stuff. That's a moss arrow, water arrow, and a bunch of money. Money, money. How much is that? That was only like a hundred. Well, uh, this I think opens with this key we had. No, just a. Uh... Does it open? Okay. I wonder what this key is then. I thought we could open this little thingy with that. Uh, I suppose we use this key somewhere else. Let's save. And, uh, hmm. Let's see. Have a look and see whether we can get easily to Cutty's cell. But I suspect... Ooh. Right. Yeah. Do you see that thing? That's a periscope. It's a, uh, essentially a surveillance camera. Hang on, you. you do? <laughs> I just lifted something off of that guy. Ah, it's another key. I would like to turn that thing on. Who passes there? No one passes there. I don't know if that actually does anything. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. I mean, it's just sort of wandering around. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, do you wail and gnash your teeth? You ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone I or hold flesh. There. Hey, you can't say me. I got to justify thy sorry existence to thy builder. Hmm. Ow! Okay. <laughs> he bonked me on the head with his hammer. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Okay, so Knowledge I think... Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path. We need to, future. I think, unlock cell block four in here. <laughs> Yoink. Yeah, we just got another of the same key. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, do you wail and gnash your teeth? Do you ask it to repour itself? Nay, you Nay. turn it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children. Whether they be stone or flesh. Ah! Ow! What's thy life worth, this thief? And there we go. So, yes, it's got an alarm system. Vigilance is our shield. So, I have to wait for that guy to come past. past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. But we do need to go up that stair, those stairs there. Ooh. Hello. I just lean out of the. Is our shield. Lean out of my cubby. Us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. I'm sure it's fascinating what you're talking about. Hmm. Fuck <coughs> oh, <great. laughs> Okay, that's cell block four. Right, I see how it goes. I'm sneaky. That guy was coming back, was he? Ah, yeah. Oh. 
Can I just open this? Nothing says that I have to close it. Okay, just... I think we might have to find like a beaver to open up the cells with. Over here? Yes. Right. It's behind that dude there. going to alert the alarm. Could I go around? Not really. Oh, he's turned. Who goes? No one. A plague of these rats. Okay, every now and then he turns around. <laughs> See that key on your belt. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. You? Oh. <coughs> Are you someone there? Didn't even see that guy at the end of the hall. It's the same key, but. <coughs> it's it. I don't actually know which cell one we need to open. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> assuming... I don't know which one's Cutty. I suppose that one? Cell block six? <coughs> I think that would be... So block four. Oh, here we go. Cutty, the spawn. Arms scalded daily. Tybal, Warkeep. Died of flux. Wills, heretic. Meditation, factory work. Visa, vandal. Whiskering. Whisking, factory work. One, possum, lady taker. Killing. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Just leave you in there. See Cutty. I think we opened up the right cell. <coughs> yes. <coughs> I don't actually know what happens if you open up the wrong cell. The <coughs> woe is me. There. No one passes there. Nothing passes. No, no, one's, now. no one's doing any passing. Okay. There we go. Let's go and see Cutty. Same again. Hey, Cutty, how's it going? Let's get you out of here and me my money. <laughs> no. Afraid you're gonna be disappointed. Good thing you're dying, Cuddy. Or I'd have to kill you for stiffing me. Again. Snap, snap, puppy. <coughs> but I owe ya. So <coughs> Felix went after the horn of Quintus down the bone hoard. Left me his notes. The hammers got him. Put him in there. Evidence box. 
Loot collection, more like. Upstairs. Officer's quarters. Once you're up there, in passage. If damp hadn't rotted my lungs. <coughs> well. No, no, it wasn't mine. Uh. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. Okay. Well, we've broken Cutty out of prison. Uh. <laughs> He's in a better place now, anyway. So yes, uh, rather successful piece of thievering uh, so far, I think. It's going pretty well, I'd say. Uh, barring any darkness in the recording, I apologise for that. Yeah. I don't know, see if I can brighten things? I'm not too sure what I'll have to do. Anyway, that will be it for Thief for tonight. We've finished one level, and we're about halfway through another level. Remember, we still have to make our way out of here. Yeah, locate and release Cutty. We can't do that. Release Basso the Boxman. Locate Is it the Beggar. Get your lucky hand of glory back. We'll probably sneak around for a fair bit more and try and find where, the, where these are. I think Basso is assumably in another one of the cell blocks, so we'll have to go through there and find that. Find the evidence locker, retrieve Felix's map. Well, we already did that. Loot complex for valuables. Need 1,000 total loot. We can do that quite easily once we get up into the um, officer's quarters. Escape from the prison with Basso the Boxman. And don't kill anyone. I don't actually know about... It's fine. Anyway, we'll see that in the uh, future. Here we are. We actually have a map of the... Uh, of the uh, prison area. So we're here, currently, I think. Uh, that's the guards room. That's the overlook area. These are the cells up the top there. This is where we opened the uh, cell. And this is, as I said, where we are currently. So there's a yard here. And I'm going to have to go into like each of these cells and try and find where Basso is. <laughs> um, and then we'll have to go up this way to the barracks and officers quarters. There's guards all around. Oh, fun. Anyway, as I said, that will be it for Thief for tonight. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me for the next one.